Mayor LeVar Stoney today says he's confident that he has won re-election. Our Melissa Hiplett spoke to the State Board of Elections today to find out if that is accurate considering all the confusion about vote totals tonight. Melissa? Well, Bill, the Richmond Registrar's website finally posted the early vote counts as well as the mail-in ballot vote totals. And so we now have a much clearer picture of who has most likely won this race. That would be Mayor LeVar Stoney. He appears to have won five out of the nine districts required to win this race. However, there has been a lot of confusion surrounding how Richmond has reported its results. So obviously there needs to be some improvement. That's because results have been slow to come in. In part, the head of the Richmond Board of Elections, James Nachman, says because of massive early voting in the city. But the new early voting system does not tell the whole story. But at the local level, I definitely think there's some processes that need to be improved. And in Richmond last night, results from folks who voted in person on Election Day didn't start coming in until about 1030 at night. And if you looked at the State Board of Elections website, you would have thought nearly every precinct had been reported when only a few actually had. Moreover, the state doesn't break down the results by district, which is how the mayoral race is decided. That that was an issue and so we were trying to get those figures broken down by council mag district and get them on the, the city website. That's because the city sent over precinct results that showed zeros in precincts that hadn't actually reported results. Nachman even says some precincts never reported results to the Richmond Registrar. You know, we were trying to track down these people and they weren't answering the phone. I mean, how does that happen? It, it, it happens. You know, every election you have these little anomalies. I mean, you're dealing with human beings and there's human error and people make mistakes. Nachman admits there needs to be a better process of sharing votes with the state and reporting them faster. I do think it could be better, absolutely. And we're going to be having those discussions. Now, you heard from candidate Alexis Rogers early on in that piece. She has won two council districts, and she has not conceded this race yet. She is going to wait for all of the provisional ballots, the ballots cast in ballot boxes on Election Day, as well as those mail-in ballots that are allowed to be received through Friday at the Richmond Registrar's Office. I'm told by the head of the Board of Elections in Richmond that there are a lot more provisional ballots than expected. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.